Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate your good work on this legislation. In my district and in many rural communities around the country, wood burning stoves and heaters are a popular heat source and an affordable one as well. And it's a renewable fuel. And I'll tell you what, the person who utilizes a wood stove to heat their home is not a special interest. The EPA's new source performance standards for products like wood and pellet stoves and wood furnaces have raised significant concerns. This regulation sets forth an unrealistic and unachievable timeline for manufacturers of these products to come into compliance with the standards in time. I've heard from manufacturers and retailers like England Stove Works in Amherst County in my district that they don't want uh, it's not that they don't want to comply with the rule, they just simply need more time. For just one wood stove, it can take up to six months to complete the EPA certification process. In the meantime, the availability of wood stoves, uh, the affordability of this heating source for my constituents and other people in mostly rural areas, but other communities as well around the country, is going to go up. The BRIC Act before the House today includes provisions from a bill that I introduced along with Representative Colin Peterson, the Relief from New Source Performance Standards Act. This provision is a simple one. It simply extends the time wood stove manufacturers have to comply with federal regulations by three years. Affordable heat is important to my constituents and federal regulations must take into account the real world needs and time constraints of the industries that make these products and must now develop new technologies. I urge my colleagues to vote in support of this bill today to give this industry more time and ensure consumers can choose wood heat sources to help keep their families warm. I thank the chairman. I yield back.